Okay, Caroline, what are you most looking forward to this summer? Going to the Catskills. Going to the Catskills? What's in the Catskills? The golf course. I want to go to the house of the cool pool. The cool pool? Did we get a house of the cool pool? It's definitely not something I ever expected to do, not something I was planning to do, but golf has given me a life that I could never have planned or dreamt of. The people I've met and the places I've gone is just me giving back to golf. Um, well, I need a lot more people to help me give back, so we'll see. So I got uh, a DM from a superintendent who said, come and help me save this 100-year-old golf course. And Life is funny. Here I am now living in the uh, living in the Catskills. Life like led me from the Midwest to New York, but in New York City proper. And I just grew up, met a girl, got married, had a kid. So we wanted more of a backyard lifestyle. So, you know, we're only two hours away. So we moved from Queens up here. I did school up here. Um, I did a couple rehabs up here. So I got to know the area pretty well, <laughs> like as I became an adult and fell in love with it. I just want to make it keep going, clean it up, bring back the beauty out there. I mean, it's a cool little hot rod of the Gold Age golf course. It's a beautiful part of the world. And these people are fantastic, uh, great people. And they, they deserve this golf course. They deserve a lot more. They deserve people coming back to discover how great it is, this place that they live. I mean, my favorite part of the golf course is, by the first tee, we have an American flag. And that American flag is one that Sean's wife, Marisol, uh, received when she became an American citizen last year. Uh, she's from Mexico. They have a beautiful little girl. So I don't know, people will go past it every day and not know what that flag means to Sean and to us at Sullivan County. Uh, yesterday was Memorial Day and two members played golf and then got trumpets out of their cars and went at three o'clock and played taps. There were only five or six of us around to see it, but I've never really seen anything like that at a golf course before or like had those emotions stirred at a golf course before. So it was very, it was very special. It's about a lot more than a golf course. To me, it's about the town, it's about people, it's about this part of America that for a long time, it was the place to be. It was the destination, it was the spot. From Frank Sinatra to Dirty Dancing, uh, if you were anyone who was anyone came here, and then they stopped coming, and then they left. These are long odds. I mean, the golf course needs a lot of love. It's been neglected for a while. But we're we're getting momentum. We're, we're we've got long we've got mowers. We've got the right organic inputs to put into the grass. We can fight the dandelions. Uh, so there are there are there's a lot to overcome beyond just the weeds. Um, it's also getting you know the community to buy in. I'm just some guy from Philadelphia who plays gets to play fancy golf courses around the world, and here he is. Um, showing up in Liberty, New York uh, at a nine-holer with big plans. And I know there's skeptics. I know there's people who wonder, am I in it for a, a real estate play? Am I going to turn it into, want to turn it into condos? Do I want to um, turn it into a golf course that the locals can't afford? Um, you know, even trying to raise the green speed a little bit so that we can get, stop losing money. Um, definitely was, you know, met with some resistance. Um, it's, so it's, it's not easy. You're trying to do the best thing um, and you're trying to get everyone on your side. You're trying to do a good thing, but that means different things to different people. Yeah, there's some, there's some hearts and minds to win over for sure. So my deal is that I'm operating Sullivan County Golf Club 
for a year for this season. And at the end of the season, I have to decide if I'm gonna buy it. We've, we've negotiated the, the purchase and all that. I just have to pull the trigger and pay for it as well. I mean, right now I am paying all the bills and, and the taxes and the insurance and the payroll, which is all, all new stuff for me, all part of the, the, the adventure for sure. Um, but I need, I need help, I, I need partners. I need people to come find this place this year and fall in love with it the way that I have. And it's also my responsibility to get it into um, the condition with Sean, to get it in, in, in the right shape that when someone comes and sees it, they get it. Um, and they wanna be a part of it. And, uh, and we're getting there, right? I think we will get there. I hope, what else, what other choice do we have? I've only been here a couple weeks. I signed on to do this after my first visit, really just meeting Sean and encountering his passion and his willingness to work so hard for something. Um, there was just no way that I was giving up on this guy. It just, I don't know, the universe puts certain people in your path for certain reasons. That's guided me pretty well. That idea has guided me pretty well so far in life. And uh, when I met Sean and saw this place, I was just like, okay, this is it. I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know how we're going to make it work. But uh, this is this is the next adventure. Having a place to go to besides work besides school or besides whatever else like the daily life is it's always there for you 